Welcome back to Business on News Decks. My name is Winston Taki. And now to our first business story. The first Ghana CEO Presidential Manifesto Gala Dinner has been launched in Accra. Speaking at the launch, CEO of Chief Executive Network Ghana, NSD Craft Interior said, this year's event is geared towards creating a sustainable and inclusive business environment for growth. The inaugural Ghana CEO Presidential Manifesto Gala Dinner will bring together 1,000 top CEOs, policymakers, and political leaders to discuss economic growth, political accountability, and sustainable development. At the launch, founder and CEO of Chief Executive Network Ghana, Ernest De Graft Ejiri, emphasized the need for political parties to champion economic inclusiveness. The key feature of the evening will be the social contract signing by the NDC and NPP flag bearers. This is more than symbolic. It represents the public commitment to transparency, governance, and fostering an enabling environment for business. By signing these contracts, both political parties are pledging to uphold principles that ensure economic growth and political accountability. Delivering remarks on behalf of Deloitte Ghana's country managing partner, lead tax and regulatory partner, George Ankoma, stressed the importance of prudent leadership. As various political parties, factions, pledges to tackle critical issues within the economy like fiscal stability, job creation, business development, business leaders must also commit to building legacies that last by enforcing decisions rooted in sustainable practices and inclusive policies and not only focusing on profit. We should be looking at profits, making an impact that matters and for that reason, purpose beyond profit. Chairman and founder of Margins Group, Moses Baden, expressed confidence that this year's event will be transformative. It is a look at the manifestos of the two main political parties and the business elements of it, and to act as a pressure group to ensure that these business elements of the manifesto and new promotions and innovations by entrepreneurs in dialogue with government are not just rhetoric, but actually are implemented. We are excited. I urge all CEOs to attend this gala dinner and to pressure government into agreeing to partner with businesses and to create an environment for public-private partnerships that have great economic, social, and political impact. The first Ghana CEO Presidential Gala Dinner 2024 is scheduled for November 7th. It is organized by the Chief Executives Network Ghana in collaboration with Deloitte, PwC, SIGA, JIPC, University of Ghana, UPSA Law School, and the Multimedia Group. Now moving on, as part of activities here marked for the Customer Experience Campaign, GCB Bank PLC has organized a workshop aimed at empowering customers in the micro and small enterprises segment of its retail banking department. The workshop is to help these MSEs improve their business skills and give business owners the information and resources needed to thrive in a competitive market. The program began with a health screening session where participants were screened for blood pressure, sugar and breast examinations, amongst others, reflecting the bank's commitment to promoting public health alongside business growth. Medical professionals were present to conduct the screenings and also educate participants on the importance of early detection. This was in alignment with the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Speaking at the event, Executive Head of Retail at GCB Bank, Sina Kamagit, highlighted the bank's dedication to fostering the expansion of small businesses in Ghana. What you are seeing here today is actually our class one intake that we are prepping so that we can migrate them to the larger portfolio of uh, our wholesale, corporate, commercial, and the other businesses. So that's what you are seeing today. And we are known for doing this. GCB is known for doing this. GCB has showed up for Ghana a lot, a lot of times. Uh, if you remember in, in, in 2008, uh, Tor, Tema Oil Refinery was almost on its knees. It had to take GCB to revive Tema Oil uh, Recovery. And a lot of these cases uh, exist in the country. And that's why we are the preferred banks when it comes to uh, MSCs. Mr. Kamagate also used the opportunity 
to officially launch GCB Bank's Value Added Package Insurance Initiative. GCB Bank PLC Customer Experience Campaign, DAB Go Beyond, is aimed at inspiring staff to deliver delightful experiences that exceed customers' expectations at all touch points.